Hello, it's Alex, the Bookubus. Today I'm going to be sharing a book haul and not only that, as if that wasn't exciting enough, I also wanted to give a couple of shout outs for things coming up in February and also I have a giveaway. First up, Kelly from Kelly Hooked on Books is hosting a read-along of Red Dragon by Thomas Harris in February. I'm going to be joining in with that because it's a book that I've been meaning to read for years. She has a book club and each month a book is picked from paperbacks from hell, so everything is like 1970s and 80s era. And there are already quite a few people in the group, including myself and Nikki from Dark Between Pages and Jay Maddox and Timmy Lost Cunningham, so probably a few people you already know. And if you are interested in joining that book club, then I will leave Kelly's info below. So definitely go check her out. Also in February, I wanted to mention Kasha from Kasha's Book Cemetery is hosting a 48 hour evil-a-thon. And that I think is taking place on the weekend of Valentine's Day, which I think is the perfect time to read more horror. So again, I will leave her details linked below so you can go check that out and hopefully join in. Okay, and on to the giveaway. I am giving away this lovely pair of earrings that were handmade by Richard at Are You Into Horror? So, funny story, Richard contacted me recently and said he had something he wanted to send me and it turned out to be this pair of earrings, but I don't actually have my ears pierced. I've never had my ears pierced. Well, I did have like the top of this ear pierced when I was a rebellious teenager, but that was a long time ago. And yeah, I've never actually had my like regular earlobes pierced. So I told Richard and yeah, I really appreciate the gesture, but unfortunately I can't wear them. So I asked if he wanted me to just send them back to him, but he said, how about doing a giveaway? So you can win this pair of earrings. They are called Beauty's Dark Side and they include hematite beads and they're handmade by Richard. And to enter, you need to be subscribed to my channel and to Richard's channel, who I will leave a link to, of course. And then make sure to comment below on this video to say you want to enter. As long as you include the word giveaway, all one word, that's the keyword I'm going to be looking for when I select a winner. And I will try to select a winner this time next week, so that will be Sunday the 7th of February. Okay, on to the book haul. So I haven't been out to any thrift stores or really anywhere that I haven't had to go to recently, but I wanted some retail therapy, I'm not gonna lie and I instead decided to go online and purchase a bunch of books that I've had on my wish list for ages in order to cheer myself up. All of these books I have wanted for quite some time and I finally just decided I'm gonna treat myself and buy them all and I very much look forward to reading them. So first up is Such Nice People by Sandra Scopitone. This is one I have actually already read and reviewed, so I will leave a link to that if you want to check that out. But this is about a family. It's set in the run-up to Christmas, and we learn right at the beginning of the story that the teenage son is planning on killing the rest of his family. It's a really great read. I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was excellent. I got two Ken Greenhall books. One of them is Elizabeth, and this one was originally published under a pseudonym, Jessica Hamilton. This one is about a teenage girl, and I don't really know too much else about it. I know it intrigued me some time ago, and I have really forgotten any other details I knew at that point, but I love this cover and I'm very intrigued, so I hope to pick this one up sooner rather than later. And the other one is Child Grave, and this one I don't know too much about either, but it's got something to do with a small town with a dark secret and some kind of ritual, so 
that's enough to hook me in quite honestly. Next up is Shadow Play by Michelle Spence. I read her other book Rebecca Moon last year and loved it. It ended up being one of my favourites of the year. I have a review video of that if you want to go check that out. And actually in the comments of that video the son of the author got in touch with me and explained who he was and everything and then the author herself commented too and yeah we just had like a, a couple of messages back and forth and she was super awesome. It was just really cool to learn a little bit more about her and her writing life and the books that she had published. So yeah if you're at all interested in that then go check out that video and have a look in the comments. Anyway Shadow Play is her only other novel which is really sad but this one is an evil children's story, so I'm already sold on that. I also got a copy of The Punishment by Doris Shannon. This one has such a great cover and I love the typography of the title. And yeah, this one just sounds bonkers and brilliant, so right up my alley. I'll just like read you a couple of keywords from the back. So we've got a fog shrouded island a century old schoolhouse. We have uh, someone with an occult gift and a dwarf grandson. So I mean I am just 100% in for all of that and I very much look forward to reading it. Okay moving on to some 90s action. I picked up two titles from the Del Abyss line which I've been really curious to read. So one of them is Grave Markings by Michael A. Arnzen. This one, if you couldn't guess, is about a tattoo artist and the tagline on the front I think says it all. His tapestry is flesh. His medium is needles and pain. His art is death itself. And the other one is Tunnel Vision by R. Patrick Gates. This one seems to be about television and a character or characters who are obsessed with it. I'm not entirely sure, maybe there's some crazy stuff being broadcast on the television. I don't know, I just know that it sounded cool and I'm really looking forward to reading it. Next up I got a copy of This Symbiotic Fascination by Charlie Jacob. This is one I've had on my TBR on Goodreads for ages and a little while ago Mihalis at The Nihilist Geek, he was doing a like a comparison of his and other booktubers Goodreads accounts and like seeing you know what books we had in common and stuff and anyway he had mentioned this one to me because he'd seen it on my TBR and said that he'd read it and thought that it would be my cup of tea so I was like yes next time I do some shopping I will finally get my hands on a copy. This one is about a woman who I think she's in her 30s and she is still a virgin and she ends up meeting this guy but he I think ends up being like a rapist murderer and yeah I don't know other than that but the author is described as the queen of hardcore horror so count me in. The book that I ended up splashing out on, um, I think this one cost me about $20 but it's one I've been wanting to read for ages so I was like now is the time. This is The Mirror of Night by Roberta Lanz or Lanners, I'm not quite sure. This is a short story collection that came out in 1997 and I think there were only a limited number of copies issued so that's why it's a bit harder to track down and a little bit more expensive. And I don't even remember how I'd stumbled upon this one in the first place, but I did. And I seem to remember this one also might be kind of extreme horror. Uh, so I am really looking forward to it. And I almost forgot, but I got one more book, which is a Kindle version, which is why I forgot about it. But it is The Collected Supernatural and Weird Fiction by Bessie Kiffin Taylor and this is one I heard about from Lydia at Typical Books. I think these stories were written in the 1920s and yeah they just sound super interesting, definitely my cup of tea 
and it was super cheap on Kindle so it was a no-brainer to grab it. So those are all of the books that I bought recently. I am super excited for all of them. Just, you know, wish I could take a couple of months off and just read constantly. That would be nice. Let me know if you've read any of these and don't forget to enter the giveaway. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.